hello all welcome to tech chapter so in this video we are going to see about billing in google cloud so we'll see how we can analyze the different charges occurred for our google cloud services what are the estimated charges for current month and how we can export billing data to bigquery and how we can create dashboard on that billing data so we'll see all the things here so first i'll go to a billing page here so one thing to remember you should always use the account which is used to create your free trial account because even if you have owner permission but that is the different account from which you created your personal project it won't have sufficient permission to view all billing related data now you could see uh, this is my account i'll show you here so this is my account test user which i used to create my free trial account so you can see all the details at the left side i can see but if i use this account which i'll dot bulbul at the tech capture i won't be seeing all the billing details even though this account is also a owner of a project and it will give me error that resource manager dot projects dot get permission is not available even though i am the owner of this project so let me show you that so both the account have owner permission but the account which i used to create my free trial account will have additional permission to fetch the resources related to billing so i'll show you here now you could see this one is a owner so so this test account you could see is a owner and this account which currently i'm using is also a owner but this is having 6518 permission and this is having 6684 permission this is having more permission which are mostly related to a billing okay so now i'll switch to my test account which i used to create my billing profile while creating my free trial account by adding a credit card details and all other details so that will be used to fetch all billing related details so from here i'll just go to a billing and i can see here the credits so out of a 22000 or 24000 only a 12000 is remaining for me rest of the amount i utilize so here i can check the different amount i utilize based on the services so if i go to reports so i can check the amounts group by project so which project how much cost for this project gcp project dev it's like 4229 for a current month if i go by services so it will show amount by services so for me you could see currently the cloud sql cost is more if i yes yeah now you could see i just fetched based on the cost so i am paying more for a compute engine so i am paying 1149 rupees for computing for last one month for cloud composer i almost paid 1100 okay so cloud data flow 686 so i can see all the details of my costing so suppose now i want to export all these details in bigquery i want to analyze so i am the owner of this project with this billing permission but i want my team also to analyze these details in bigquery so i cannot provide direct access to them here so what i can do i can export this data into the bigquery table and i can provide them a bigquery table or data set access so they will have only read only access there so here in billing export we have to enable billing export to bigquery so currently i enable this so you have to enable this if not enable manually you will enable here so standard usage cost enabled and detail usage cost enabled so this will export my data into the bigquery so now i'll go to bigquery and i'll show you how i can check that details in bigquery okay so here i created one data set called billing and inside there will be two table so i'll just check this for detailed billing and let me execute a query here so it will by default take a today's date i'll check if there is anything for today's date i don't think so there will be anything for today's date 
so okay there are a details for today's date so it will just give with sku group sku id project details which of the service used so i can just create a query where i can just use sku description and sum of cost and here i can just group by using so it should show me amount by service or cost by per service okay now what i will do is just order by sum of cost okay i missed descending now you'll see a uh, exact better view here yeah you could see the amount i'm paying for each things licensing fees for windows i paid 106 http load balancer forwarding rule 30 rupees so let me uh, remove this date and i will see for complete duration so you could see the amount paid for a different different service and their customized details so let me just check here uh, let me check if we have sq service column i don't think so let me go here and check the column name Yeah, we have service dot description, not SKU dot description. So we'll just use service dot description. Yeah, and here also I will use service dot description. So it will give us based on the service how much cost we are paying or how much charge are built for per service. Now you could see for compute engine for cloud sql all these charges okay so in this way we can analyze in a big query now suppose i want to build a looker dashboard in looker studio so we can create that so i'll go to looker studio here so this url will open for us Here I'll simply click on blank report. So earlier it was data studio, now it changed to Looker Studio. I'll, first it will ask for details like your country, company, you just put any here and I'll continue. Just cancel it. okay i'll put no 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 for all here i just don't want any emails at this moment and it should create a report now blank report and it will ask for a data source here so from where we need to connect to the data so i'll choose a big query here and immediately ask us to authorize BigQuery with the Looker Studio. So I will authorize it. Yeah, now it is asking for uh, details. So what I will do, I will use a custom query instead of because I already created my query. So I will use a custom query here. Or let me pull the complete data instead of a custom query. 
and I will add this table okay now I can just add the details here so the dimension I will add service description okay and a cost I will add again here in matrix and here I will put some so I don't want this billing account details I don't want this count okay, let me just yeah so now this is my dashboard so this is my simple table actually here now I can put a chart I will put a bar chart here okay and you could see you can analyze your billing how much you are paying for your each service so cloud SQL you are paying more than compute engine you can see the graph here show data label so I'll just put a data label so it will show you the amount here I'll just change the color of my page I'll go to current page setting in style and I'll change a color so suppose I will take a dark blue or I will take yellow okay and all these things you can change now suppose if you want to change for here so you can change colors and other property for this table okay so you can just customize the dashboard for your own requirement and you can beautify it so this was the basic stuff I want to show you how we can create dashboard based on a billing for your Google Cloud project so hope you like this video and we'll see you in the next video